respect, my agent you love, respect page. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Have a safe day and protect your energy and have a safe week in store for you. You know, when you a child of God, you don't got to sit here and fake gas like somebody when God is working in your favor. Regards to what trauma you endured as a child, going into your adulthood, maybe being sexually assaulted as a child, dealing with trauma on top of trauma, dealing with domestic violence, being discriminated against, you put a name to your book. You know, when they overlooked you, God never overlooked you. And you don't got to fake gas like somebody when you in tune with God. And I say that respectfully. You know, because God's working miracles in your life and God's allowing you to become your best self vision of yourself. So when you get in tune with yourself to understand yourself, to have self-respect, because God has told these tools within us, self-awareness, self-respect, self-healing, self-control, self-discipline, self-care, self-value, self-worth, self-peace, self-patience, self-love, self-confidence. So you can elevate and healthy boundaries. So you can elevate and become your best self vision of yourself. You know, when you're a child of God, when they overlooked you, they wanted you to struggle. You know, they, 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 they wanted you to be homeless. They didn't want you to elevate, become your best self vision of, of, of yourself because they were miserable. Not only they were miserable, they were so low vibrational that they was envious over your life. And, you know, they tried to distract you and not show up for you and maybe be the parent that they, they, they needed to be the parent to be for you because they, they were so envious over you or because what they experienced as their childhood, they thought it was the norm to put, put, put you out in the street. Or to allow you to believe that you was unworthy of yourself so you, and, and allow you to fend for yourself when you was just a child. And they manipulated your character for something that you truly wasn't. And they wore a mask the whole entire time. And they showed up to the community like they, they, like they were such a good person. And the whole entire time they, they let somebody sexually assault you. They let people manipulate you. They let people laugh in your face. They let people allow you to believe that you wasn't worthy of yourself. They even paid people to stay away from you. If you're that child of God that went through that experience, you could become your best self version of yourself. You know, when they overlooked you, or if you didn't even experience that. You may have had parents that were addicts and they don't know how to be parents to you. And you're just trying to find yourself in this cold world that we live in. They overlooked you. They abused you. They disrespected you. They disrespected themselves for showing up for you. But God never gave up on you. God never overlooked you. God was always watching over you. God was always trying to protect you. When you was dealing with pointless people, conversations and pointless people that didn't bring value to your life. All they did was take your kindness for weakness. They was trying to figure you out, but they couldn't figure you out. Because you were trying to figure yourself out to find balance and within balance and, and show up for yourself in a healthy way, not in a toxic way. And you had to find an escape. And your escape was a drug, a substance. And you were just trying to find balance. They didn't know how to love you. They didn't know how to respect you, let alone themselves. They allowed you to see things that a child was not supposed to see, but you saw it. And you had to be quiet because you was a child because nobody would believe you because you were a child. And that trauma went from being so traumatized and from your childhood, it went into your adulthood. It wasn't able to allow you to show up for your best self vision when you became an adult. And you didn't understand yourself. It wasn't that you was making excuses for yourself because you wasn't. You was just trying to find yourself and be at peace with yourself. To heal from whatever was endured within you because the, 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 the proper guidance was never given to you when you showed up at school. They just brushed you off because they didn't want to see you elevate. They kept you stuck in, in a spot where you couldn't elevate. And talking to pointless people at the end of the day that didn't bring value to your life, having pointless conversations, but they didn't want to understand themselves. They laughed at you when you said, I need help. They didn't understand the definition of help. And you were just trying to show up for yourself. They said, go see a counselor. The counselor couldn't help you. 
They sat there for the moment. But that counselor had their own problems. Within their own problems. And they started projecting their problems on you. So how was you able to communicate with them? Then they tried to call authorities on you. To get you locked up. Or because they had control and issues. Because they, they, was, they, was, they was scared of how powerful you was. To speak up for yourself. And they wanted to shut you up. So they tried to put fear in your heart. So every time you spoke up for yourself. They said I'm going to call the police. And you know, God saw everything. God never overlooked what they did to you. That was the enemy trying to sidetrack you so you won't be able to show for yourself to become your best self vision of yourself. But you know, when God installed these tools within us to become our best self vision, self awareness, self respect, self healing, self control, self discipline, self care, self value, self worth, self peace, self patience, self love, self confidence, and healthy boundaries. So when you look at your reflection of yourself today, you can become your best self vision of yourself. When it starts with healing, it's not going to be easy. That trauma is real. When you was depressed, dealing with anxiety, couldn't sleep. Feeling like you're paranoid. You didn't know who to confide in and trust and speak to because you would be labeled. But they didn't know you. They overlooked you. When they had their own problems, they didn't have time for you. But God had time for you. God didn't overlook you. God didn't overlook you. God said, I'm going to send the right people into your life to guide you to better days ahead. God said, I got your back. Good day, bad day, misunderstanding day. When they overlooked you, God never overlooked you. God had patience with you. And God's allowing you to see your best self vision of yourself today because God installed another day within you. Because God understood the sun was showing you at the end of the day, like, look, I'm patient with you. So you got to show up for yourself to be patient with your process, to elevate and become your best self vision of yourself. When it starts with trauma healing, it's not easy. It's not. Because it's deeper within. It's deep. It's so deep. You may think it's one thing and it could be multiple things on top of multiple things on top of multiple things. And when it starts with healing, it will never be an overnight process. So choosing your best self vision to show up for yourself is very important. You can't wear a mask. And you can't wear a mask when you tuned into God. And you can't fake gaslight yourself to say, you know what? I want the hell in today. But you got to mean what you say and say what you mean to be true to yourself. That you want to have genuine peace within. To have self-love for yourself. To understand the assignment that God got your back. When they overlooked you, had pointless conversations to, 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 to discredit your character for something that you truly wasn't. They tried to manipulate you. And you was trying to find peace within. But you didn't know how to. Because you never had the proper guidance to show you how to find peace within. Because everybody around you was so toxic. Everybody around you didn't know how to show up for themselves. Let alone show up for you. So how anybody supposed to show up for you if they don't know how to show up for themselves? It didn't matter if it was a school teacher. It didn't matter if it was your parent. It didn't matter who it was. When you dealt with trauma, you know how it feels. To not be able to talk to somebody and communicate with somebody and express your feelings because you feel like they're going to go against you. Or they're going to tell you that I'm going to call them boys on you. Or I'm going to call the people on you to put you in a hospital to reevaluate your thought process. You don't need no pain pills. You don't need no prescription to identify what's going on with your mental state. To go on what's going on within. You don't need no, no. You need genuine people in your life. That's going to guide you the right way. And when you got God on your side and you ask God for the proper guidance, God's going to guide you because you walk by faith, not by sight. To better days ahead, God said, I got your back. Regardless of what trauma you experience, God got your back. And when God sends genuine people into your life, when God closed that toxic door for a reason, that trauma door for a reason, to better days ahead, God's going to send genuine people into your life that's going to genuinely respect you for who you truly are and love you for who you truly are, honor for who you truly are without wearing a mask to gaslight you, psych you to throw person on your freedom because God got your back. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. And you have to be treated with respect during 65 days when no one's intention to bring harm to yourself and others around you. Never allow the enemy or hate in disguise or personal misintentions. Suck at your thought process on your freedom or your eyesight or your pocket to the end of the day because you are worthy and you matter. They will fake gaslight you and act like they're so in tune with God. And the whole entire time, they're not in tune with God. They're just trying to bring harm towards you. Suck at your thought process on your freedom. In your thought process, in your pockets, so you won't become your best self vision of yourself. So protect your energy, because not everybody's serving your time. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Protect your energy, because not everybody's serving your time. Love yourself, love yourself. Love yourself, love yourself. With God's protection for every direction, now you genuine love, respect. Have a good day, have a safe week. <laughs> respect.